I'm actually surprised we can come right up to the house. I was really expecting to see some no trespassing signs. We're Stephen and Andy, and we started a travel vlog back home in California at a time when we couldn't really travel. It hasn't been driven in a few years. It gave us a great excuse to get out and see some things we've been putting off for way too long. Oh my God. Good morning, everybody. Today we are headed to Tryon, North Carolina, which happens to be the birthplace of an icon, Miss Nina Simone. Yeah, that is going to be awesome. But first, as always, we're starting the day off with some coffee and breakfast. Right now we're in downtown Hendersonville, and first we're going to go to Black Bear Coffee Company, and then we're going to hit up a nearby bakery. Okay, we got our coffee, and now we're heading across the street to McFarland's Bakery to see what they have for some breakfast. Oh my God, everything in there looked so good, didn't it? Oh, and it smelled so awesome. In oh, you too. have no idea. I wish we had smell of vision because that was incredible. I asked her what they were known for and one of the things that she mentioned was the cinnamon buns. So that's what I got. Let me show you this, put it in a plastic tray. Look at that icing, how delicious does that look? I got a fork just to be safe, but I'm gonna start off eating with my hands and we'll see how that goes. And I got a blackberry turnover. Can you guys see that? So oh, can't wait to get into that. Yeah. So anyway, we're gonna have our breakfast real quick, then we're gonna hit the road. Tryon is about 30 to 40 minutes away from here, and we're gonna stop first at Nina Simone's house where she grew up. Really looking forward to that. It's gonna be amazing. This is Nina Simone's childhood home. This is where she learned how to play piano at a very young age, so her mom started bringing her to church to play piano and organ there. At church, she was discovered by a woman who brought her in and began her classical piano training. So I'm actually surprised we can come right up to the house. I was really expecting to see some no trespassing signs. Um, it's not open to the public yet, so we can't go inside and look around, but we managed to peek in some of the windows and see what it looked like so far. And it looks like they're definitely making some preparations. So hopefully at some point, this will be open to the public as kind of a museum to Miss Simone. Nina grew up in the 1930s in the segregated South. The town is divided by train tracks, which run right alongside the main street. These were the same train tracks that Nina had to cross as a child to get from her neighborhood on the black side of town to her piano teacher's home on the white side of town. The constant awareness of the color of her skin and how it caused her to be treated differently shaped her as she grew, leading to her activism in the 60s. Let's talk Nina Simone, you guys. Not only is she a musical icon, an incredible vocalist, a classically trained pianist, but she also spanned so many genres, from blues to soul to Broadway and, of course, jazz. And even more importantly, she was an activist. She was so involved in the movement back in the 60s with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, with whom she was a neighbor and close friend. She isn't just important culturally, but also socially. Modern day Tryon may have contemporary businesses, galleries, and boutiques, but the buildings are likely very much the same as when Nina walked past them as a child. The town is now well known for its equestrian center, but the jewel of the downtown stretch is Nina Simone Plaza with its striking, larger-than-life sculpture. A really cool thing that we read is that the sculptor placed her ashes inside of where her heart would be.
So one of the big adjustments we've had to make since coming from Los Angeles is the fact that things are not open seven days a week or around the clock the way we're used to. Uh, a lot of places are closed one or two days each week, usually Monday, sometimes Sunday, or in some cases, Tuesday through Thursday, which is the case with the place behind me, Huckleberries. We had planned to have lunch here today because we saw they had this great patio, which is perfect for dining during COVID. And unfortunately, we're here on a Wednesday and they're not. There are tons of quaint little cafes and bistros and there's even a pizza shop here. But unfortunately, there's not a lot of outdoor seating that isn't already occupied. So we got ice cream. Real talk, that's what we really wanted anyway. It is. <laughs> We found this adorable creamery here and they have some of the funniest flavor names. Check these out. I Got Exhausted Parent, which was an awesome name and basically sold it on its own, but it's bourbon infused coffee ice cream with chocolate chunks. And I got Kitty Kitty Bang Bang, which is cheesecake ice cream with raspberry and Oreo. For watching and we'll see you next time. See you next time. Welcome to our tiny home. Come on in, let's take a tour. We are on our way this morning to Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Folks coming out, it looks legit. Not the original Krispy Kreme, but this is the next best thing. It's the flagship store in the area. So we're gonna go inside, get some donuts. much better Krispy Kreme experiences. Okay, we went so you don't have to. Yeah.